I got something though. I got something. So what is the craziest thing mm. I had coach? Because we've all had coaches. Oh God. The craziest Here thing a coach has said to you. <laughs> Eric, okay. Eric wins okay. Time. And then and then and relate that to <laughs> you know, let's step out the box and th- think what that coach really meant. At that time, this is the whiplash moment. Okay, Eric, you go last. You go last because Eric's. I think this is going to be the best. Okay, great. <laughs> Dave, you go first. Oh, man. Okay, so I was in tenth grade, and I'm you know at this time ninth grade. I just finally they stuck me on you know the B team, but two practices in I got on the A team. So the next following year, I made made a name for myself. I was kind of coming up, mm-hmm. and the head coach, okay. Coach Melky, remember that guy's name. He comes up to me after practice, and I thought something was going on. I probably wasn't playing defense. <laughs> he comes down, and he goes, he's pointing at my chest. He's like pointing at me. He's like, you think you... This is after practice. He's like, McGinnis, I got to talk to you. So I go downstairs into the locker So it's a one-on-one. It's a one-on-one. That's All tough. the kids are gone. Mm. Okay? We go downstairs. This old, old gym. It's a good thing it was a Catholic priest. And, <laughs> yeah, right? And he comes in there and he starts poking at me and he says, he you, think, you think you'll ever be as good as me? At basketball? What? Yeah. He goes, do you think, but like this. Yeah, he was competitive with you. Yeah, he was like, do you think you'll be ever as good as me? And I'm like, oh my gosh, never I'm like fucking 15. I'm like, well, I don't know. I mean, like, I didn't have that edge to be like, yeah, I'm better than you because that wasn't me. <laughs> Why the fuck was he telling me that? So what was the point of him saying exactly. that? Exactly. So you tell me. Why that coach, after the year before, he was praising me as being like somebody that's going to come up a bit. He tells me, will you think you'll ever be as good as me? What does that mean? I think well, what did you, what led up insecure? to that? What led up to that? Like, what was going on in practice where, did you like, did he tell you to do something and you're like, what do you know, coach? Or like, what I happened? never talked back. If anything, I just didn't have any expression, but I never, maybe I didn't do what he wanted me to do, but I tried. Maybe you thought your like maybe you thought like your silence was like haughtiness or whatever. Okay, what is that? What does that mean? Maybe so. Next topic. It? Next topic. I, I, I like this though. Mm-hmm. So okay, so for one minute, one we don't minute. Our let's just go one minute. What do you guys think? Take his his side. You all know my side. Take his side for one. For we all got like ten fifteen. I seconds. think. I think something you didn't even realize you did. Like you, he he said, "Hey guys, you need to run a press," and then you did it or something. Okay. And maybe you kind of, and then he has his own scars from his past. He thought it was the people didn't listen to him. I mean, let's say from his as a writer, my whole thought is people didn't listen to him, so that's his little insecurity, mm-hmm. and so you kind of tapped into his insecurity. Okay, and so he's like, yeah, and you're no, I agree, and and I, it's definitely his insecurity, but maybe he thought if you said you didn't, you didn't talk back to him because I, I know that like I used to talk back a lot, and but if you didn't talk back to him, he probably thought you maybe had like a look in your eye, like. Mm defiant look or something oh maybe I feel like he probably saw something and either reminded of himself mm. oh. and then he probably wanted to like like look at you and like recognize something at that age that like he made some misstep that he didn't achieve his full potential wow I feel healed Ooh. right now Ooh. just from all these answers right now this. this has really really bothered me all my life oh, because I, yeah, it really bothered me, and like it's almost like I got molested by a guy that says, "Are you going to be better than me?" Well, did did he end up molesting you after that talk? Oh, fuck okay, no. okay. But you know, it's funny. It's funny that I choose like a wrong, <laughs> like, a little harsh. We can edit that out. But you know, I feel very healed. Appreciate it. So basically, mm. there was some correlation between him and I. Maybe mm. I was like Nunchi was not, not not on point. Maybe I did something in practice I never thought about. Yeah. Great. Let's move on to somebody else. 